Quick tutorials. We don't waste time. How to get a cinematic look in Premiere and After Effects, also known as color correction. Step 1. Shoot in 24 frames per second. I'm so tired of seeing professionally done commercials filmed in 30 frames a second. It comes out looking like butt shit. Step number two. If any of you have noticed when you go see a movie in theaters, the screen is really wide. That's because film aspect ratio is 2.35 to 1 instead of 16 by 9, which is, you know, your normal HD camera. So to make it look like you have a badass cinematic camera, change the width of the video. Our trusty calculator tells us that if you do the math, you wind up with a width of 2538 by 1080. So change the composition settings to 2538 and lock the aspect ratio. Shrink it down to the regular size. So if your video is supposed to be 1920 by 1080, just make the width 1920 and the bottom will follow. Now that shit looks cinematical. You can also do this in the Premiere, which is usually the way I do it, it's much faster. But instead of changing the composition settings, you just put on a crop and shrink the video down and make it wider. Two ways of doing color correction. The first, levels and curves. Find levels and then find curves in the effects tab and drop them onto your video. Pretty much click on the little wire chart thing and play with it until you find a shade that tickles your fancy. Levels is pretty much the same, you're going to play with it. Like this video has a shit ton of green, we're going to slide it around until it goes away. Don't use this method, it sucks! Find a way to download the Magic Bullet Suite and use a tool called Mojo. I strongly discourage that you download it illegally from the Pirate Bay or FilesTube.com. Drag your Mojo onto the footage and you'll notice you have a lot of options up here in the top left. I like to leave the Mojo at uh, 14 and the Tint at like 30 or something like that. Play with the balance and um, you can always warm it, that gives it a nice little tone. Punching it adds contrast and bleaching it pretty much takes all the color out of it. You can also play with skin tone, but this is a black guy so it's not really going to do anything. There's also a neat thing that lets you blend it with the original, and what I like to do is add a whole bunch of contrast and then just use blend with original to kind of mix the original tone and the new one together. In Premiere there's a nice little tool called Proc Amp and it's pretty much an all in one. You have four options, brightness, contrast, hue, and saturation. Don't touch the hue, but play with the other ones until you find a nice little tone. So you can do that the loser way, or you can be a cool kid and use Mojo because it works in Premiere as well. I mean, I would use Mojo. You can do whatever you want, though. And yo, dog, here's my color correction video being color corrected. My name is Alex Harris. You guys have a good day.